Today, Peppa and her family are in the fancy dress shop. They're looking for a Halloween costume. I hope we haven't left it too late to find a costume. Next, please. <laughs> Can I have a spooky vampire costume, please, Miss Rabbit? Sorry, Peppa. Mm. I'm afraid we've just sold our last vampire costume. <gasps> oh. Uh, not to worry, Peppa. We'll find a different costume that's just as good. Right, Miss Rabbit? Uh, of course. <gasps> Let's go and look. <laughs> Pepper is trying on different costumes. Ta-da! She tries a lemon. Lemons aren't as spooky as vampires. She tries a lovely flower. So lovely! It's lovely, but it isn't spooky. And even a... Whoa! Pencil. Gosh, hmm. how unusual. <laughs> Do you have any oh. spooky costumes left, Miss Rabbit? <gasps> I'm afraid we're all sold out. But we do oh. have some spooky bits of costume left over. Maybe you can make <gasps> a brand new monster, Pepper. Yes, let's go. Yay! Oh. <laughs> Peppa and George are looking for things to oh. make a spooky costume. What about these munchka keys? <laughs> now my teeth are spooky. Look, Peppa, bat wings. <gasps> Very spooky. <gasps> Dinosaur tails are very spooky, oh. George. <laughs> spooky <gasps> hat, spooky <gasps> face paint, spooky spider web. <laughs> oh. Why don't we try these on? <laughs> Pepper is trying on her brand new <laughs> monster costume. <laughs> My word! That's the scariest costume I've ever seen! It's perfect! Pepper feels very spooky in her Halloween costume. <laughs> Pepper loves making spooky monster costumes. But Mummy and Daddy think the price is quite spooky, too. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family are making special Halloween treats. These monster eyes are tasty. Why don't you two decorate these cupcakes while I finish making dinner? Hooray! <laughs> Splendid! Here you are. Daddy Pig is making the icing for Peppa and George to decorate the cupcakes. The colours are changing. Magic! <laughs> Halloween magic! Ho, 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 ho. It's not magic, I'm afraid. Just some fruit colouring. Oh. Will it still taste good? Fruit colouring only changes the colour. Everything else is still... <gasps> Delicious! Mm. Delicious! <laughs> Peppa is making a spooky pumpkin cupcake while George makes a green dinosaur. Hello, George. I'm a spooky pumpkin cake. <laughs> Peppa and George have finished decorating all the cupcakes. Now, we're almost ready to eat. I just need to get Mummy Pig from the garden. Mmm! I love spaghetti and garlic bread. Hmm. All the extra fruit colouring has given Pepper an idea. Should we do a special Halloween trick on Mummy and Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are using the fruit colouring to make green spaghetti and purple garlic bread. <laughs> Goodness, what happened to dinner? 
<laughs> ah, you've added fruit coloring. <laughs> Daddy Pig has his own idea for a Halloween trick and treat. <gasps> this spaghetti is green. <gasps> and the bread is purple. Ho, 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 ho. Yes, it's a Halloween trick. But it's just fruit colouring, so the food is still all yummy. Yummy tweet! <laughs> <laughs> a Halloween trick! Brilliant! You really got me. <gasps> and you used fruit colouring to turn my water orange too. <laughs> <gasps> no, Mummy. That's just orange juice. Oh. <laughs> Peppa loves Halloween tricks almost as much as she loves Halloween treats. It is Halloween night, and everyone is busy decorating pumpkins. There has been a power cut, which has made all the lights in the house turn off. Oh dear, there must be something wrong with the electricity. Don't worry, I'll get the torches. <laughs> oh my! Mummy Pig has found the torches. Here we go. Now we can all see. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm afraid the pumpkins will have to wait until we fix the electricity. I know. We can look for ghosts in the dark. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm a bit scared of ghosts. Can I keep my eyes shut? OK, I'll help you get around. Ghosts! <laughs> George wants to look for ghosts too. Sorry, George. You're too little. Huh? It will be too scary for mm -hmm. you. Now, follow me. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are looking for ghosts in the very spooky living room. It's a ghost! <laughs> it's not a ghost. It's just Gerald. Sorry, Peppa. I can't see with my eyes shut. <laughs> <laughs> this is the spookiest room in the house. Now everyone is looking for ghosts in Peppa's bedroom. <gasps> The ghost is not a ghost. It is George in a blanket, and he wants to help look for ghosts too. Ghost! Ghost! OK, George, you can come with us. But it will be very spooky in the hallway. <gasps> no! George doesn't think it will be spooky at all. <laughs> It's extra, extra dark here. It's dark everywhere. Huh? Oh dear, Peppa's <gasps> torch has gone out. It's too dark. Now, now, there's nothing to be frightened of. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> The lights are back on, but now oh. there is a big mess. It was just a fuse. Oh, what happened? Uh, I think we must have a ghost. Peppa and her friends love looking for ghosts, but they love decorating pumpkins even more. George! Tonight, George is having a sleepover with Edmund Elephant and Richard Rabbit. All right, everyone. Time for bed. Don't worry, Mummy. I'll make sure they all go to sleep. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Come on, then. Into your sleeping bags. Quick march. Peppa likes being in charge. Well done, Peppa. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs> Only joking. <gasps> you can't go to sleep yet. There's lots of fun things you have to do first. 
George has never had a sleepover before. He is very excited. First, we have to have a midnight feast. Ah! Ooh. Oh, you've turned into ghosts. <laughs> I know a spooky story about ghosts. George, Richard and Edmund love stories. This is a ghost story about a muddy puddle that wasn't muddy. Ahem, paranormal apparitions, or ghosts as they're commonly known, do not exist. It is scientifically impossible. Edmund is a clever clogs. He doesn't believe in ghosts. Can I tell a story? Um, OK. <laughs> Ahem. Once upon a time, there was a giant pig and a, a very small rabbit. Squeak, squeak, squeak! And they chased each other forever and ever. <laughs> the end. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good story. Oh, I've got another one. This one is about... George, Edmund and Richard have turned into ghosts again. <laughs> Silly George. Oh, do you know what's next? Yay! We have to stay up very late until, um, 100 o'clock. Ready? Oh. I don't think George understands sleepovers. <laughs> How's everything going, Peppa? They're fast asleep, Mummy. Well done. I think you've earned a midnight feast. Hooray! George and his friends like playing sleepover games, but they love to sleep. Today, Peppa and George are playing grown-ups. Oh, gosh! Oh, gosh! Where is my bag and my hat? We're off to work now, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and what job do you think you'd enjoy when you're grown-up? Dinosaur! George wants to be a dinosaur. Hmm, I think I would enjoy being a dentist. Then I will make sure everyone's teeth are nice and healthy. Hmm, interesting. Uh, uh, hang all right. You've got lots of clean teeth, Mummy. Oh. Here's a sticker for being so brave. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Who's next? <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Silly George, dinosaurs don't go to the dentist, <laughs> they go to Dr Hamster the vet. <laughs> but you can have a sticker anyway. <laughs> I think you'd make a very good dentist. Dinosaur! <laughs> And you'd be an excellent dinosaur, George. But I'd also like to be a bus driver. Then I could take all my friends to the park. Tickets, please. Next stop, <laughs> the park. Stop! You forgot us. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> you have to stop at all the bus stops if you want to be a bus driver, Peppa. Oops, <gasps> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd be a brilliant bus driver, Peppa. But I don't just want to be a dentist and a bus driver. I also want to be a teacher. Oh. <laughs> then I'll teach everybody how to paint. You can paint a butterfly using handprints like this. <gasps> Dinosaurs don't go to school, George. Perhaps you could open a school for dinosaurs. 
But when I'm grown up, I also want to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> and George will be a dinosaur. And they will always love jumping in muddy puddles, even when they are grown up or dinosaurs. <laughs> Today, Peppa and George are at a fun fair. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. Have you been in the fun house yet? What's a fun house? It's a special fun fair house that has lots of silly rooms and funny hallways. <laughs> Can me and George go into the fun house, please? Please. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Two for the fun house. To enter the fun house, Mummy Pig must buy tokens from Miss um... Rabbit. But the tokens cost more coins than Mummy Pig thought. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig. Right this way. <laughs> Hooray! Ooh! This is the rickety rackety bridge. Pass through to see the rest of the fun house. <laughs> Peppa is moving very slowly and carefully across the bridge. But George thinks it's fun to go very fast. <laughs> Your way is much better, George. Whee! <laughs> Congratulations! Now you need to follow the arrows. This way, George. <laughs> <laughs> These mirrors are so wobbly. The funhouse mirrors make Peppa and George look very silly indeed. This mirror makes me look so tall. And you look like you have a very big head, George. <laughs> that one makes you look really round. Round! And this mirror makes me look like Miss Rabbit. That's because I am Miss Rabbit. <gasps> <laughs> Follow me to the twisty, turny tunnel. <laughs> the funhouse tunnel spins round and round. Ooh! Whee! And it's very windy. <laughs> <laughs> Look! After the tunnel, we get to go down the slide. Slide! <laughs> I'll help you, George. <laughs> I wonder what's taking so long. I hope they're not lost. <laughs> How was it? The fun house was really fun. How fitting. Everyone loves the fun house because the fun house is very... Peppa Pig and her friends are at the aquarium today. <laughs> they're all pretending to be fish. <laughs> This is an octopus. It has eight long, wibbly wobbly legs. Ooh. Actually, an octopus only has two wibbly wobbly legs. The other six are wibbly wobbly arms. Rip wobb, rip Wow! I wish I had a rainbow tail. <gasps> Let's be mermaids, Susie. <laughs> but we don't have mermaid tails. But we can pretend. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! Peppa Whee! and Susie are pretending they are mermaids with long, lovely tails. Hello, seahorses. We can swim around just like you. <laughs> Whee! Whee! <laughs> <gasps> it's so pretty! What is it? This is an oyster. <laughs> it has a pearl inside. <gasps> a pearl? <gasps> What's a pearl? It's a very lovely shiny object. Can we open it and see it? An oyster only opens when it's ready, so we'll just have to be patient. Hmm. I can't see the pearl. Excuse me, Mr Oyster. Can you open, please? We're being really patient. <laughs> Can you go, ah, uh, like at the dentist? Mm. Um. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
Oh, it's not working. <gasps> it's so tickly. <laughs> Let's tickle it open. Mermaid Pepper and Mermaid Susie are trying to tickle the oyster so it'll open. They tickle and tickle and tickle, but the oyster still won't open. It's not working. We'll never see the pearl. We'll just have to wait. <gasps> it's the pearl! It's so pretty! <laughs> the oyster has finally opened. The pearl inside is very lovely indeed. Aww. Rip, rob, rip, rob! But I want to see the pearl. Can we make it open, please? <laughs> no, Danny. Oh. We have to be patient. Everyone knows that being patient can be tricky, but Peppa and Susie know that the very lovely pearl will be worth the wait. Hooray! <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends have come to a special adventure park. Come on, Edmund, you can do it. It's really fun! Whoa! <laughs> Oh, well done, Edmund. <gasps> this room has a balance beam. You have to walk across <laughs> it without falling into the ball pit. If you all keep working as a team, you'll get all the way through without falling into the ball pits. I'm good at balancing. Follow me. Now, George... Pepper and Edmund Elephant must cross the balance beam. But Edmund is finding the balance beam a bit difficult. Try going sideways, Edmund. We can do it together. Hooray! Everyone has made it across the balance beam. Now they must swing across this room. This looks tricky. It's just like the swing in the park, Emily. Watch this. Whee! Peppa is very good at swinging. Hooray! Hold on tight, George. <laughs> Here you go, Edmund. But Edmund Elephant is feeling a little nervous about it. Why don't we go together, Edmund, as a team? Good idea! Whee! Hooray! We did it! Thank you, Emily! Everyone has made it across the big swing. Good teamwork, everyone. One room to go. <laughs> this is the final Whoa! room, but there is no way across the ball pit. We can't jump that far. And there's nothing to swing on. Ho, ho, ho. This room is a bit of a puzzle. <gasps> Nobody knows how to solve the puzzle and get across. Oh. I've got it. But Edmund Elephant is very <gasps> good at puzzles. <laughs> I'm a clever clogs, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has made it through the adventure park. That was very clever, Edmund. Edmund? And Edmund Elephant can't wait to do it all over again. There, there. Today, Peppa has found a video of when she was a baby. I was a very loud baby, wasn't I, Daddy? Ho, oh, oh, ho, yes. All babies are sometimes. Gosh, oh. that must have been when I was pregnant with George. Prig and what does that mean? <laughs> that means he was still in my tummy. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. Oh, oh. Huh. What are you doing, Peppa? Look. Now there's a baby in my tummy too. Oh! <laughs> Very good, Peppa. 
Now, what do people with babies in their tummies do? Hmm, I used to get lots of funny cravings, which are when you really want to eat certain foods. Mm, 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 yum! Peppa has decided she has a craving too. I really want to eat... Oh! Spaghetti! <laughs> Peppa thinks cravings are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was very yummy. What else happens when you have a baby in your tummy, Mummy? Well, I'd get tired a lot. So kind people would offer me their seat so I could sit down when I needed it. Hmm. <clears throat> Hello, Peppa. I have a baby on my tummy and I'm very tired. So you need to give me your chair, please, Daddy. <laughs> Gosh. Righto, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! <laughs> and sometimes my feet would hurt. So Daddy Pig would give me foot rubs. <laughs> Peppa likes the sound of foot rubs. Daddy, my feet are hurting, so I need to have a foot rub, please. Oh, well, not a moment to lose. <laughs> oh, <Ooh>. oh. <laughs> a little here and a little Daddy Pig's foot rubs are more Mr. like foot tickles. <laughs> oh. There's one more thing that happened when Mummy Pig was pregnant. What was it? Eventually, Ooh. a baby came. Auntie Pig has brought Baby Alexander for a visit. Hi, Baby Alexander. I was pretending I had a baby oh. in my tummy. But now we can pretend that you're my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Real babies are quite noisy, actually. So I think I'll keep my cushion instead. Oh. oh. <laughs> Pepper and Susie are pretending to be police officers. Police, we'll help you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, police officers. You're welcome. Now we must get back to solving crimes. Nino, Nino. Oh my! What is it, Madam Gazelle? I think my special pen has gone missing. <gasps> this sounds like a mystery. Ah. Don't worry. Me and police officer Susie will solve the case. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are looking for clues to find the special pen. They're using a magnifying glass to make small things look bigger. Aha! Purple. That's the oh. same colour oh. as Danny oh. Dog's T-shirt. <gasps> Have you seen oh. the special pen, Danny? I don't think so. Well, we'd better take you to the police station to ask you some questions. Peppa and Susie have made a pretend police station so they can ask everyone questions about the missing pen. <laughs> It's made from books and pillows. This police station doesn't even have doors. It's a nice place to read, though. Peppa and Susie are asking everybody about the special pen. Oh. They've brought Candy Cat to the pretend police station. Candy Cat, can you remember what colour the special pen is? Hmm, red? No, green. Actually, pink. No, uh, blue! Aha! Uh -huh. You've been very helpful. Let's take a big look around. The special blue pen must be <gasps> hidden somewhere. Pepper and Susie are searching everywhere for the special pen. Ah! But they can't find it anywhere. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. Hmm, I have an idea. Now, Madam Gazelle is answering questions at the pretend police station. When did you last see your pen, Madam Gazelle? Well, let's see. I used it this morning, then I put it behind my ear. Oh, my! Yay! Madam Gazelle's special pen has been behind her ear all along. 
We found it! <laughs> we solved the mystery! <laughs> Hooray! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and Susie. I think you would make very good police officers. <laughs> <laughs>